There's always crime in Gotham. No matter what the city does, the underbelly of the town always shows its ugly face. But that means there's always work for some of the best detectives in town. There's always another lead, always another case. This is Batman Everybody Lies, which is part of the detective investigation system, which was designed by Ignacy Chebyshek and Veronica Spira, and published by Portal Games, who helped sponsor this video. Hi everybody, my name is Nick Murphy of the Brothers Murph, and we are here with Board Game Geek. Well, it looks like there's another crime to solve, so let's get this game down to the table to go a little more in focus on Batman Everybody Lies. In Batman Everybody Lies, players will be moving through four different episodes where you'll be trying to solve cases beyond the reach of Gotham City PD. As mentioned, this game is in the detective investigation system, so a few times throughout the game you'll be looking things up and finding them on the game's website. While there, you will choose which episode you are about to play, starting with the prologue which will make you familiar with the system. Each player plays as a specific character from Vicki Vale, Harvey Bullock, Catwoman, or Warren Spacey, though any characters not chosen are still in the game as informants. The game board will have the various locations the players will need to visit to follow their leads. Each story will have an introduction for the task force and then individual introductions for each character. The players will be working together to solve cases. There are many things that will help them to do so. Personal goal cards may be obtained at various times with the use of character tokens and they will have information for a specific character. This information will often help the players solve the case. Scene cards will help bring the story to life and will provide some clues as well. But to to solve cases, you will need to visit locations around Gotham. These locations will often require the team to use access tokens. These grant you access to the Authority, the Underworld, or to the Dark Knight himself. Access tokens and character tokens are gained by spending evidence token, and these are usually gained by following leads. Leads are the foundation of any good detective. Without a good lead, a sleuth ain't got much. When following a lead, the player will travel to the location specified on the card, spending access tokens as needed to access that location. In the text of these cards, there will be more information and clues on how to solve the case. The leads may also have orders the team will have to follow. This could be gaining new cards or potentially gaining files. When gaining files, the players will enter in the file number into the website to gain that information. And leads lead to more leads, so you'll also gain access to further leads that you may follow. As you draw cards, you will be moving the marker up on the investigation track. Once the marker is in the green section, you are allowed to attempt to solve the case if you believe you've gathered enough evidence. And once an episode is done, you will have to make a final report to your boss, Commissioner Gordon. Gotham's a rough town, but you're some of the best detectives around, and there's always another crime to solve. In Batman Everybody Lies, you will be following leads and catching the bad guys, and everyone in Gotham, especially Batman, is full of mistrust, so all the players have their own goals and agendas. And you really do feel like you're solving cases when you have to like swivel over to your computer to type in file numbers. And the world of Batman is so deep and so rich, and it's the perfect setting for this kind of crime-solving game. And if Batman Everybody Lies seems like a game you'd enjoy, make sure to check out its page on Board Game Geek to learn more. And until next time, I've been Nick Murphy, we're here with Board Game Geek and we've been going in focus on Batman. Everybody lies. Have a crime solving day.